Salam sejahtera, salam satu Malaysia, wanakam. Nalini again, today, guys, we're going to look into how to write a business plan. So basically, in this topic, we're going to discuss uh, or we're going to look into the way of preparing business plan. So the chapter objective will be explain what is business plan and it's important for startup business. So what is the business plan? Business plan is a written document describing all relevant internal and external elements and strategies for starting a new venture. It is an integration of functional plans, address short term and long term decision making for the first three years of operation. Uh, maybe you all wonder why we need to write a business plan and who should write the business plan. The business plan should be prepared by the entrepreneur in consultation with other sources. The entrepreneur should make an objective assessment of his or her own skills before deciding to hire a consultant. But my advice is for startup business, better we uh, apply bootstrap technique where we cut a lot of costs. We invest the money in operation, uh, not hiring a consultant. Scope and value of the business plan. Okay, who reads the business plan? The business plan is valuable because it helps determine the viability of the venture in a designated market, guides the entrepreneurs in organizing planning activities, serves as an important tool in obtaining financing. This process provides a self-assessment by the entrepreneur. Means that the entrepreneur have to know detail, single detail of his business or his venture that he is going to start. How do potential lenders and investors evaluate the plan? The business plan must reflect the strength of management and personnel, the product or service, or not how and available resources. Lenders are interested in the venture ability to pay back the debt. So they more focus on the four C's of credit, character of the entrepreneurship, cash flow of the company, collaborator and equity contribution. Banks want an objective analysis of the business opportunity and as well as the risks. Investor, particularly venture capitalists, have different needs. Place more emphasis on the entrepreneur's character. Spend much time conducting background check uh, and they will look for the uh, high rate of return, how much they will get back if they invest one ringgit or they invest 10,000, how much the return they will get back and they more focus on market and the financial projection. Presenting the plan. The entrepreneur is expected to sell the business concept. And the entrepreneur also expected to focus on why this is a good opportunity for the person to undertake the venture or business. He also provide an overview of the marketing program, sales and profit. The plan also address risks and how to overcome them. Audience include potential investor who may raise questions. Investor describe this presentation as evaluator pitches. So what type of information needs to prepare a business plan? Before creating a business plan, the entrepreneur must undertake a feasibility st study. So when we're talking about feasibility study, there is four big elements that the entrepreneur need to look into. First element will be product feasibility analysis. Second will be organizational feasibility analysis. Third will be target market 
or the industry itself. You need to analyze the industry itself. And fourth will be, and the most important feasibility study will be on your financial part. Information for feasibility study, study should focus on marketing, finance, and production. Feasible, well-defined goals and objectives need to be established. Based on this, strategy decision can be established. Means that the entrepreneur focus what is his objective or her objective and what they want to accomplish. What type of information needed? If we look into the operation information needs, so we need to identify the location. We need to uh, know the manufacturing operation practices. What are the raw materials involved? What type of equipment needed by an entrepreneur? More specifically, an agriculture entrepreneur. They also, if we are talking about agriculture, of course, we need labor. Labor means skilled labor. We need the space. We need overhead. So most of the information should be incorporated directly into the business plan. So what type of financial information, information needed to prepare your uh, business plan? The entrepreneur has to prepare budget of all possible expenditures and revenue sources, including sales and any external available fund. The budget includes capital expenditures, direct operating expenses and cash expenditure for non-expense items. Industry benchmark can be used in preparing the final pro forma statement in the financial plan. So basically, in the financial plan, we will be the entrepreneur should be prepare cash flow statement, balance sheet statement, as well as income statement. Using the internet as a resource tool, the entrepreneur also can gather secondary information or secondary data about how to uh, go about with uh, writing a business plan. The internet can provide information for industry analysis, competitor analysis and measurement of market potential. It is a valuable resource in later stage planning and decision making provide opportunities for marketing strategies and entrepreneurs can access all the uh, re related information using, using popular search engines, competitors' website, and also social networks, blogs, and discussions group. So now we look into the ways or the means to write the business plan. A business plan should be comprehensive enough to give any potential investor or venture capitalist a complete picture and understanding of the new venture. It should be help the entrepreneur clarify his or her thinking about the business. So, uh, writing business plan, the first page will be in the introduction page where you need to include your name, address of the company, Name of the entrepreneurs, telephone number, fax number, email address and website address if they are. And uh, briefly describe of the company and nature of the business. Uh, statement of financing is really needed. And statement of confidentiality of reports also needed. This will be continued by writing executive summary. What is executive summary? Simply, it's about two or three pages in the length summarizing the complete business plan. Environmental and industry analysis. After your executive summary, you have to uh, uh, do a environmental and industrial analysis where you really thoroughly do research on your market. So the environmental analysis access external uncontrollable variable that may impact the business plan. Example, economy, the culture, technology, legal concern, and extra star. The industry analysis involves reviewing industry trend and competitive strategies. Example, industry demand, competition, and extra, extra star. 
So, in agriculture sector, current trend is people are looking or demanding for organic produce. They are concerned on their health. So, now the trend is more focus and uh, a big gap in this organic farming. So, as an entrepreneur, we have to grab the opportunities where we, if we are the agriculture entrepreneurs, we grab the opportunity and produce organic produce because the demand is getting high and higher. So, what type of critical issue for environmental and industry analysis? So, there are several questions that need to be answered. Uh, in the screen, you can see there are 12 uh, questions that for you to analyze the environment or industry itself. So, first question will be what are the major economic, technological, legal and political trends on a national and international level? What are total industry sales over the past 5 years? What is anticipated growth in the industry? How many new firms have entered in this industry in this past 3 years? So, you can calculate your competitor. How many of them in the same industry directly or indirectly competing with you? What new products has been recently introduced in this industry? Who are the nearest competitor? How will you, sorry, how will your business operation be better than this? Are the sales of each of your major competitors growing, declining or steady? What are the strengths and weaknesses of each of your competitors? What trends are occurring in your specific market area? What is the profile of your customer? How does your customer profile differ from your competition? When you want to offer something to the marketing product or services, it should be carried some added value, added value or uniqueness. Then when you compare with your competitor, there is something different in your product or in your service. And you also, there is need for you to describe the venture. What is the mission of the new venture? What are your reasons for going into this business? Why will you be successful in this venture? What development work has been completed to date? What is your products and what is your service look like? Describe the products and service including pattern, copyright or trademark status. When, uh, when you describe on this matter, that is the uniqueness that you have. So, the competitor is difficult for them to touch or come near you because of this copyright and trademark. Where will be the business be located? Is your building new, old, in need of renovation? Is the building leased or owned? Why is this building and location right for your business? What office equipment will be needed? Will equipment be purchased or leased? What experience do you have and or will you need to successfully implement the business plan? So, let us look into production plan. So, what is production plan? Simply answering 10 questions, I think you managed to come up with your production plan. Will you be responsible for all or part of the manufacturing operation? If some manufacturing is subcontracted, who will be the subcontractors? Give names and address. Why were these subcontractors selected? What are the costs of the subcontracted manufacturing? What will be the layout of your production process? What equipment will be needed immediately for manufacturing? What raw materials will be needed for manufacturing? Who are the supplier of new materials and what are the appropriate costs? What are the costs of manufacturing the product? What are the future capital equipment needs of the venture? So, we continue with our operation plan. All businesses, manufacturing or non-manufacturing should include an operation plan as a part of the business plan. It goes beyond the manufacturing process, describes the flow of goods and services from production to the 
customer. The major distinction between services and manufactured goods is services involve intangible performance. Then we look into marketing plan. Marketing plan describe market condition and strategy related to how the product or service will be distributed, priced and promoted. Marketing research evidence to support any of the marketing decision strategies as well as for forecasting sales should be described in this section. Potential investor regards the marketing plan as a critical to the success of the new venture. Then the business plan should be continued with organi organizational plan. In this segment, we will describe the form of ownership and lines of authority and responsibility of members of new venture. In case of an sorry, in case of a partnership, the terms of the partnership should be included and should be spelled out clearly. In case of cooperation, the following should be included, shares of stock authorized and share options, names, address and resumes of director and officer and definitely organization start, sorry, organization shut. And business plan also continue with assessment of risk. This is a very important uh, uh, element in writing a business plan. Identify potential assets and alternative strategies to meet goals and objectives. The entrepreneur should indicate what will be the potential risk to this new venture, what will be the impact of this risk, and what type of strategies will undertake to prevent, minimize, or respond to the risk. Major risks should result from competitor reaction, weaknesses in marketing or production or management team and also new advances in technology. Again, we continue with, this will be last portion I think, a financial plan. Financial plan always uh, normally, sorry, financial plan normally contain, uh, contains projection of key financial data that determine economic feasibility and necessary financial investment commitment. It should contain summarized forecasted sales and appropriate expenses for at least the first three years, cash flow figures for first three years and projected balance sheet. Maybe you can include appendix. So appendix will support your business plan document. Uh, normally in appendix, it may contain any backup material that is not necessary in the text of the document, uh, the text of business plan. It may include letters from customer, distributors or subcontractors, secondary data or primary research data used to support your business plan decision, lists, contracts or other type of agreements, price list from supplier and also competitor. Using and implementing the business plan, not only is, uh, sorry, uh, maybe people are very good in writing a business plan, but implementation of the plan is very, very important as well, very, very crucial in this matter. The business plan is designed to guide the entrepreneurs through the first year of operation. The strategy should contain control points to a certain progress and to initiate contingency plans if necessary. Without good planning, employees will not understand the company's goals. Business, uh, businesses or new venture fail, normally fail, due to entrepreneurs' inability to plan effectively. Measuring plan progress. Business plan projections are made on 12-month schedule, but the entrepreneur should frequently check on profit and loss statement, cash flow projection, inventory control, production control, quality control, sales control, disbursements 
website control. Updating plan is very important. Entrepreneurs must, must be sensitive to changes in the company, industry and as well as market. Determine what revision are needed if changes are likely to affect the business plan needed as well. This helps entrepreneurs to maintain reasonable targets and goals, keep the new venture on a cost of on sorry on a cost to high probability of success. So, we almost done with writing a business plan. Now I really hope that you have rough idea how to go about in writing a business plan. And I just want to giving you a alarm or warning. Uh, message business plan normally fails if your goals are unreasonable they also fails when objective are not measurable entrepreneurs they also business plan also fail if entrepreneurs has not made a total commitment to the business or to the team business plan also will fail if you have lack of experience in the plant business and no sense of potential threats or weaknesses to the business also will make your business fail, uh, business plan a failure. The main important element when you don't understand what the customer need. So that is the important element where you should understand the need of customer and the wants of customer. So with this, I end my uh, lecture for today. I will see you for next week. Uh, have a good rest. Hopefully, uh, whatever delivered earlier will help you or guide you in uh, undertake your business plan or in writing your business plan. Thank you. Nandri.